friends. I did recently have a marvellous experience in this street. One day when I was out playing with a stick, I passed a mother and child who were glowing in front of a crowd. What was unusual was that they were eating two portions of fish and chips and five tiramisus. I went up to the mother and said... Wouldn't you both be sick? No, it's funny. That if it was just four tiramisus, then probably I would throw up and none of these people would stand a chance, but five and the two portions of fish and chips seems about right. I said... How on earth did you find that out? And she told me why they weren't a pair of disgusting pigs. One day my husband came home in a hurry and told us he had something to show us. He wouldn't tell us what it was, we just had to get in the car. He just drove off really fast. I kept asking Dad to slow down, but he just said everything was OK. And then he just suddenly shot up to 90, 110. He just kept on going faster and faster in the built-up area. 130. Stuart, will you just slow down a bit? 150. <laughs> and then we got to 164 miles an hour. And suddenly, everything felt OK. It felt like at last you didn't have to worry about going over the speed limit. We could see that at exactly 164 miles an hour, you could go down any street you like and you wouldn't crash. It's actually the safest speed to go at. 163 is deadly, it's just stupid, but 164 is just right. The police would recommend it if they knew. At that speed, we suddenly understood everything. The only other people who discovered you can drive safely at this speed were joyriders and drunks. They'd found out that you can be really excessive about something, provided you get the quantity absolutely right. Well, then I'd like to ask for a 63% pay rise, then, please. I'm glad you've been so sensible, David. That's very judicious. For example, if you ask for a 63% pay rise, your boss will agree. Ask her for a different high number, and you deserve a bollocking. I was going to ask for 27%, um, bearing in mind the year that we had. Are you mad? I mean, in what, kind of, in what kind of universe might that figure be remotely acceptable? No, no, no. Though all things are good in moderation... ..something much more in the region of eight. All things are even better if you have an awful lot of them. But it has to be a specific amount. For example, drinking 34 pints of lager has the same effect mm. as a mug of Horlicks. Oh, that's it. I'm off to bed. Are you coming, darling? Yes, I'm just going to drink another 34 pints and then I'll be with you. If you camp out for 22 days at Gatwick Airport, you will return more refreshed than if you'd been on holiday. Eggs in a fridge for 13 months make the best omelettes. If you have sex more than 32 times in an hour, you will develop a very nice personality. If you open a shop at 3.42 a.m., it will be inundated with customers. But you must get the amount right. If you miss it by one unit, it will be disastrous. Look at Shane McGowan. The only problem was when we had to come out of 164 miles an hour. We nearly hit loads of things. All right. This discovery is enough to help us live the good life. My neighbourhood has eliminated all crime by getting the police to pay criminals money not to break the law. Sod off. Go on, take it. I've got, I've got a knife as well. I'll oh, have you now. Here, look, I'll give you some more for it. Come on, hand bad. it over. This has seen the crime rate go right down in the last two months. Oh, that's a big one. Though the police are out of their annual budget, even though it's only February. On the streets, people no longer feel guilty about asking for things. Now I know there are no perfect answers, I'm happy to make ones up. Never trust a man who tucks his jumper into his trousers. And as for the baying mob of screaming women, men and toddlers, they found out that what really made them happy was just going after anyone who looked like they had a blanket over their head. <laughs> and I just leave them to it, because in the end, isn't it better to be happy than good? Because it's more fun. There are only two things in the world that give us absolute total happiness. One is unwrapping a newly bought CD, and the other is seeing other people fail.